the, the amount of vibration this dude puts off is second to none. You can fish it fast. You can fish it slow. It's the key bait to catch them once you find them. It imitates everything those bass are keyed in on. One of the best tools we have as tournament anglers is something that can cover water. You know, being able to move through unproductive water to find those stretches of productive water is really, really important for us. So something that we can cast and retrieve back to the boat at a pretty steady to quick pace is something that is going to be a great tool for me. And there's really not much better tool out there on the market right now than a bladed jig. This is the Terminator shuddering bait. There is no other vibrating swim jig on the market that moves near the water that this bait does. You know, there's a lot of different makers, a lot of different styles, but no one ever had one that I felt worked really good in the muddiest of water until I got my hands on these. That cub design is very, very different. Most bladed jigs have a real thin metal blade. This is actually a plastic material, and having that cup is what makes it a lot different from everything else. It catches the water and actually moves the blade, which makes the whole jig move side to side so much more. That's really important when those bass are feeding heavy. If you look at this thing in the water, you can see that the jig head actually hangs down below the blade. So the blade's working, it's catching the water, but having the jig head set down below it, it's down there kind of doing its own separate thing. So they're working together separately. And the other thing about it is big fish. I mean, you know, you're fishing for numbers, but at the same time, a lot of times I've caught the biggest fish in my tournament on a bladed jig. And we've designed this to where it'll handle big fish. It's got a 5 all custom VMC heavy duty hook in it. And it's also got really strong components from the snap to the split ring that attaches the blade to the head. Every piece of it is geared towards you catching big fish on. Man, that's a beautiful fish. She ate that shuddering bait right in the corner of the mouth. Exactly how you want. It's just got a really, really good thump to it, and I can seem to get more bites fishing it slow, like practically dragging it on the bottom, actually. The great part about this is it's heavy enough that I can make very targeted, low, underhand cast, so it's not just an open water chunk and wine bait. You know, just try to make the most accurate cast you can, and then when you get near the target, I like giving it a little snap here and there. Just uh, seems like the more erratic your retrieve is, especially when you're fishing around visible cover like this. When we were working on the shuddering bait, I wanted to pick out several different colors that really fit my style of fishing, and we were able to do that. We've got nine colors in it and two sizes, three eighths and a half ounce. And dialing these colors in was something that was a lot of fun because we actually have the ability to match the blade to the bait. That's something that with most bladed jigs, you know, you just don't have that ability. With the shuddering bait, we did. We can dye that, or we can make it a matte finish as we did on like some of the black ones to where it doesn't have the flash when we don't want it. And the neat thing about this too as an angler, if you want to customize it, you can take that blade off and put it on one of the other jigs if you so choose. A couple features on the shuddering bait. Number one is a trailer keeper. You always fish this bait with some type of a trailer. Having a trailer keeper on there extends the life of that bait and it makes more of your cast productive because your trailer is going to stay in place where it needs to be. I mean, an all around great head design. That comes through cover extremely well. A lot of the other baits that are like this, it's real hard to throw around brush like we're doing, but this one just deflects off everything. You just, you just don't get snagged as often. You go back in there and you just think you can't get a bite. This is one of those baits that'll get you a bite or two. That unique custom design cup lip catches and moves so much water that the amount of vibration this dude puts off is second to none.